Hello and welcome. This is Roger Hutchins and uh, I welcome you today. We're starting a new series today and uh, uh, I'm going to have uh, Abby on here. Uh, and we're, gonna, we're calling this um, A Day with Grandpa. And uh, we're going to have 15 minutes with Grandpa right now. And as we uh, uh, come, I want to introduce you. And if you've got children, I want to invite you to share this with your children. Get them to come in and watch with you because... You know, our children are so important. God has uh, given us a responsibility. And in this day, whenever so many are, uh, there's so much negative stuff about the children, about uh, the, the how the enemy is going after the children, we want to protect them with the word and with prayer. And so uh, let's start with prayer, and then we're going to talk with Abby a little bit. And she's got a big surprise for you, so stay tuned and watch us. But let's pray first. Abby, let's pray for the people, okay? Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you, Lord, as we come on this broadcast today, Lord, that you will touch the people we're listening to, the children. Uh, God, just encourage the children, Father, and let them be encouraged by the Word of God. Father, I ask you in the name of Jesus, let your anointing be on me and on Abby. And Father, we thank you for what you're doing in our life and in our heart. And we ask you, God, this day, again, please touch the children, reach out, cover them. Father, the, the children, the grandchildren, or those that are watching, and we thank you, Lord, for what you will do in their hearts and in their lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, how are you doing today, Abby? Good. Well, tell them your full name. Abby Hope Hutchins. Abby Hutch Hope Hutchins. And who gave you that name? My mommy and my dad. Your mom and your daddy gave you that name, and uh, that's a very pretty name. Did you know that? Yeah, you knew that. And uh, Abby is a uh, uh, is a worshiper. Let, let me ask you something. Have you got a favorite scripture? God is love. God is love. Yeah, that's a scripture. And uh, what about you, uh, children that are li watching? Uh, what's your favorite scripture? Maybe you should write it down. And, uh, and remember it. Uh, and in church, what do you do in church when you go to church? Uh, sometimes I sing at church and I praise the Lord. You praise the Lord at church. Yeah, and do you, you talk to any of the other children at church sometime? Well, if there's not any children, but if Mike is there, I'll um, play with him. Okay. So, um, and... Well, you say you sing with your mommy at church. Well, can you sing a song for us now? All right, go ahead. Amazing grace, how sweet the sounds that saved a wretch like me. And who taught you that song? I'm sitting on Dad's phone. He lets me sometimes do a song before bedtime if there's time. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. So you learn it in your home with your mommy and daddy. And today you're sharing it with the people on the on the uh, live stream. And uh, we're really glad you're here, uh, Abby. And we're glad that you are a worshiper. And... Uh, let me ask you, do you ever feel the presence of God when you worship? Uh, no. I don't think so. Because be... I don't know what they feel like. It's just, but what you feel in church is just normal to you, right? You feel good? Uh, praising God, yeah. You feel good praising God? Amen. And, that's, uh, and we should feel good praising God because it's our privilege to praise God, isn't it? Amen. And, uh, um, have you ever prayed and asked Jesus to come into your heart? You with have? my mommy and my daddy. With your mom and your daddy. And uh, so you you experienced uh, that amazing grace you're singing about, right? Amen. So what would you tell those children uh, that, that are watching? 
that I'm a worshiper and that I feel good praising God. Amen. Well, all of us should praise God. And so I want to ask you uh, today is uh, maybe your children, I hope maybe you got your children. If you didn't and get them in, you can rewind this video and, and watch it again. Uh, but with Abby, uh, you know, um, Amazing Grace is kind of an all-time favorite, all the way back to whenever I, whenever I was a child, I remember singing Amazing Grace. So Amazing Grace is wonder, a wonderful thing for children to know and to sing. Uh, you know, there are other songs, there are newer songs that uh, people sing, but, you know, personally, I like, I like the old uh, classics, and I like a lot of them, because I remember whenever they uh, were special to me. And uh, what other things in church, Abby, are are something special to you? Uh, uh, your daddy, your daddy preaches at your church, doesn't he? Sometimes. Sometimes, and there's there's several different people that preach at your church, but your daddy preaches at your church, and uh, uh, so do you. And I do too, don't I? Yeah, I get to preach sometime at your church, and uh, Apostle Dorch gets to. He's, he's the lead man there at your church. Uh, where is your church? Uh, in Georgia. <laughs> it's in Georgia. It's in Cartersville, Georgia, isn't it? 1337 Joe Frank Harris Parkway, Southeast, Cartersville, Georgia. Uh, the, they have a service at 1030 every Sunday morning. And as you can see, they have... Uh, an interact, interaction with the children, uh, and it's good. So we want to invite you to uh, take your children, attend there, and just uh, look, see what God will do. You know, the, the Scripture teaches us uh, that children are a part of our heritage. Uh, whenever we look back at the Old Testament, we see that He was the God of Abraham and of Isaac and of Jacob. Whenever Peter stood up in the New Testament, uh, on the day of Pentecost, and whenever he began to preach, he spoke from the uh, from the prophet Joel, uh, and he said uh, something that the prophet Joel had said that the promise was unto you and unto your children, under under your children's children. So here, uh, as we come together, I'm rejoicing because uh, one of my grandchildren. Uh, is on the program with me today singing Amazing Grace. And in the midst of that Amazing Grace, uh, there's an opportunity for you right now. Uh, Abby said that uh, her mom and dad actually led her in the prayer to accept Jesus as her Savior. Is that right? And she prayed and she experienced that Amazing Grace of God. So uh, we're going to have her sing again when we get ready to go off the program. Uh, but... Right now, I want you to, to uh, understand that your children, uh, they're not the church of tomorrow. They're the church of today. Uh, because Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob dwelt in the same land together. They, uh, they share the same times of worship, the, the same uh, God. They experience the same uh, Jehovah Jireh, the, the God that's more than enough. And, and as we come here today... Uh, Part of what we want to do is create a program now, uh, and we're probably uh, going to go for, uh, Saturdays are hard for us because we're a traveling ministry and we're not always, uh, we're right now trying to get some equipment so we can schedule uh, some programs ahead of time. Uh, but uh, we're going to try to come every week at a time whenever the children can be available. We may have to do it in the evening after school because at the time of this recording, uh, we are uh, getting ready to start school, at least here in this county and in the surrounding counties, uh, that school's opening back up. Uh, but you know what? Children need our prayer. Uh, school is a place where uh, there's a couple of things that happen at school. There's some negative things. First of all, they get to make friends, and that's good. It's good to have friends. It's good. Um, uh, Abby and her sister Zoe homeschool, so they, they are not... Um, they're not in public school, but they homeschool. In fact, what grade are you in, Abby? Uh, I'm going in kindergarten. You're just now going into kindergarten. How old are you? Five. Five years old, and she's going into kindergarten. 
uh, and they're homeschooling her and her sister are homeschooling uh, and uh, but those of you that go to public school I've got uh, other children other grandchildren that go to public school I've got two more grandchildren in Kentucky that uh, go to homeschool uh, but uh, the ones in public school, uh, they all, they'll experience um, interaction with other children. They'll experience temptations. They'll experience uh, having friends. Uh, but sometimes having friends, not, not all the friends are the, those that will uh, try to encourage you. Uh, but uh, God's going to be with you. We're praying. My, I pray for my grandchildren every day that God will be with them at school that their witness will be strong, and that God will do special things with them. And I believe that is part of our heritage. I believe that whenever Peter said, are you copying me? <laughs> whenever Peter said that, the uh, uh, quoting uh, Joel, uh, when he said, the promises unto you and to your children and to your children's children, and he didn't stop there. He said, as many as afar off. In the spirit, I can see through my grandchildren now uh, the God that's afar off. See, now, uh, that's why children will imitate you. Just like Abby's uh, demonstrating right now, they'll imitate you. They'll also imitate you in good things and in bad things. That's why we focus on the Word of God. We focus on what God wants uh, to do through them and how God is ministering uh, at this time and as I said they're part of the church today they're part of our mission uh, you know we don't we don't know which ones will raise up to be uh, mighty men and women of God well we do know because the promise is unto us I know my grandchildren uh, my children my grandchildren will be used of God why because the promise is unto me and under my children and under my children's children so we stand on that so uh, today uh, Abby, why, why don't you sing that song again and just share it. And as we sing it, if there's any children in the room, if there's children around you, uh, you can bring them back and let them watch it later if they're not. Uh, but but uh, I want them to have an idea or, a, or a knowing uh, that it is amazing grace. It's amazing whether you're five years old, whether you're 50 years old, whether you're, uh, I'm 71 years old. Uh, whether you're 90 or 100 years old uh, or older, uh, God is still amazing and His grace is still amazing. Amen. Will you sing it again? Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved your father. Go Amen. Amen. It is amazing grace. So, uh, Abby, we're going we're to pray for the children that may be watching. We're going to pray that God will touch them. And right now, will you join hands with me? And let's, let's pray. Will you pray for the children as we go and join hands with me and as we pray together? Abby and I really sincerely want you to, to open your heart. And you don't have to be a child. If you're an adult and, and somehow you feel the the drawing of the Spirit, you feel God uh, today. All you got to do be is believe. You know, I don't know, I, I, there's really no feeling you can identify with believing. It's just believing. And if you believe with your heart, confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus. You don't have to cry. It's okay to cry. You don't have to uh, uh, do all kinds of acrobats. All you got to do is say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Savior. Uh, just like Zoe did when her mom and dad led her in that prayer. And we're going to do that for you today. Will you pray with us? Amazing grace is what Abby's saying. And amazing grace is what we want you to experience. Heavenly Father, we thank you today as we close this broadcast. We thank you, Lord, for our grandchildren. We thank you, Lord, for our children. We thank you, Lord, for those that are watching this program. 
And God, we ask you in the name of Jesus, God, as we minister to them, as Abby and I agree in prayer, for the children, Father, that you will minister the grace of God. And Father, we ask you, Lord, let them let them call upon you right now. If you, those that of you that are watching, ask Him. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart, be my Savior, that I may experience this amazing grace. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, that it's a done deal. Because we believe in our heart, we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus. Amen. Well, thank you for watching today. Uh, we will uh, try to continue this from time to time and have other uh, others of my grandchildren, maybe their friends and those that uh, those that are uh, with them. And But uh, I want to include all children. And if you have a testimony, if your child prayed, uh, if there's a testimony that you can share, uh, or somebody that we can bring on camera with us to, maybe you have something that you want to share, we can do that. We can make it happen. So we love you. God bless you. Amen. Hello. <laughs> Don't start until I tell you.